There's no need to go for a walk because whatever we need can come to us. And so set, being sedentary is a real problem. People are gaining weight. Blood sugar is increasing, blood pressure is going up, increases susceptibility to all types of infectious diseases because you're not being healthy, gaining weight, heart disease, getting sick. You want to have your body primed up so that you're healthy, you have good cardiovascular health, you, your weight is within normal limitations, your blood sugar is controlled, your cholesterol is controlled. You want to do something and your part is to be active. Your part is to exercise your muscles, to increase your metabolism. It's so important. Let's motivate you with something that you like to do. We're not designed to just stay on the couch. Hello, welcome to the Concierge Doc Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Jason Littleton, CEO and founder of Littleton Concierge Medicine. I am so excited to speak with you today. Welcome to the podcast. On today's podcast, we're talking about what your sport or hobby or activity can do for your health care. I just came back from a fabulous vacation in Lake Tahoe skiing, doing one of my favorite hobbies. I'm going to tell you how it affects my life on today's podcast. Let's jump into it. I had this fabulous skiing vacation in Tahoe, and I'm a skier. I love skiing. Skiing motivates me to work out. And while you can only do that when there's snow on the ground, and you can only do that seasonally, I'm motivated to work out throughout the entire year so that the one or two times I go skiing, it's totally on point. So from the beginning the chairlift starts to the end that the chairlift closes, I'm skiing all day where I'm not tired, my legs are right, my back is right, my wind is right, meaning my cardiovascular health, because I've prepared my body. You know, skiing is not the cheapest sport. It can be pretty expensive. And so you can spend thousands of dollars to go out there and not enjoy it because you're not in the shape that you need to be. And you get so much more out of your skiing vacation when you're in shape. And I understand that. I mean, I've had trips where I bought airline tickets, bought hotel tickets, got my family lessons, all these things, spent thousands of dollars. And then I could only ski for one or two hours because the altitude got to me or I was tired or my legs got tired. And that's just not fun. And you can't do anything in the moment there because you need to ramp up and get your body ready. So whenever I go skiing, something I, again, love to do, I am training weeks, months ahead of time getting my wind right, like I said, my legs right, my back right, so I can enjoy it. But it goes beyond that, you know, because I realize that this motivates me to set goals for my healthy living. It mo It's a reward, too, for the hard work that I do, even as a doctor. And it's a stress reliever for me because I'm out there on my own playground now. Maybe you want to do skiing or maybe you want to do another sport. But it's something that can motivate you to change your numbers. And when I say numbers, I'm talking about, you know, weight, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, the things that matter to us. And it's so awesome that when you're motivated to uh, buy a sport, to get out there, work out so you can go have fun, that at the same time, you're changing your numbers. Now, for me, it's skiing. But for you, it could be rowing. It could be swimming. It could be basketball. It could be pickleball. That's the new sport that's really picked up, but it's so important. You should do something, you know, in a previous podcast, I've, or in one of my books, Energy on Secrets to Do the Good Life, I've talked about my formula meds, move, eat, drink, sleep. And when we talk about movement, you have to be active. You can't be sedentary. These days, it's so easy to be sedentary because we've got, we've got smartphones, we've got TVs, we've got streaming systems, we've got all the things that we could just be at home and we could have whatever our, we order brought to us, whether it's food, whether it's an item at the store, there's no need to go out anymore. There's no need to uh, go for a walk because whatever we need can come to us. And so set, being sedentary is a real problem. You know, people are gaining weight, blood sugar is increasing, blood pressure is going up, increases susceptibility to all types of infectious diseases because you're not being healthy, gaining weight, heart disease, 
getting sick, you want to have your body primed up so that you're healthy, you have good cardiovascular health, you, your weight is within normal uh, limitations, uh, your blood sugar is controlled, your cholesterol is controlled. You want to do something and your part is to be active. Your part is to exercise your muscles, to increase your metabolism. It's so important. Let's motivate you with something that you like to do. Is it pickleball with you know, uh, your friends, is it playing a pickup basketball? You know, what are you motivated to do? You have to find out as people are motivated to do something. We're not designed to just stay on the couch. It's so important. And why not have fun? Why not have fun with what you want to do? Why not have a hobby that motivates you to have longevity? That's what I'm talking about. And that's what skiing does for me. I mean, I have a goal to ski till I'm 90. I'm 46 now. I love skiing. I'm a good skier. I want that. I want to stay in great shape. I don't want to get injured. I want to be flexible. I want to be strong. I want to have good heart health. I mean, that's a goal of mine. I was on a ski trip one time and I was on a bus going to a resort and I was sitting next to an elderly uh, woman and I said, hey, what are you going up to do? That lady looked at me like I was crazy. She said, I'm going to go skiing. I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Right. We're on the same bus. I mean, age doesn't have to stop you. It's so important that you set goals for the long term, that you set goals to be healthy, that you set goals to not have to be in the hospital, that you set goals to do the things that you love. What are you on earth to do? Accomplish it. But you're going to need lifespan. You're going to need years. So let's make an impact. And again, this was part of my discussion to move, eat, drink, sleep. But I wanted to just share with you that my skiing vacation was awesome. I was in Tahoe with some friends and I was able to really just get at it. There was fresh powder. There was um, great conditions, beautiful place. If you've not ever been to Lake Tahoe, you got the lake, you got all sorts of ski resorts around there. You're skiing, you're looking at the lake, you're looking at the nature. It was incredible. I felt great. And so when you do something like that, that motivates you, it carries over to other areas. It carries over to your career. Uh, you know, you want to be motivated there. It carries over to even your relationships. You're just peppier. You're happier. Uh, you have good mood. So extra, you got those endorphins going. So, and not just that, it's a stress reliever. I did say that, you know, and that's important because when you work hard and when you, if there's a lot of stress in your life because of a lot of responsibility, it's great to go play. And that's what I did. So I just wanted to share with you. I mean, you know, that is pretty meaningful to me. I think it makes a difference as far as my stress level, and my mood, and it just motivates me to stay healthy. And I want to share that with you because I want to motivate you to stay healthy. I want you healthy. I want you feeling good. I want you enjoying life. So I wanted to give that personal example today. I hope that motivates you. I, you know, look, if you're a skier, I hope to see you out there. Um, if you're a runner, let's get going. Um, look, there's more to come from my podcast. I hope you enjoyed the things I had to share today. Again, thank you. I want you to follow me on all my handles, Instagram, Facebook, at The Real Dr. Jason. Subscribe to my podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I can't wait to see you again.